Good morning, Barracudas. Today is Monday, October 12th. This is BNN. And now it's time for Guess the Barracuda. This person grew up in the Bay Area. She has red hair and is an occupational therapist. If you guessed, Miss Erin, you're right. This person has lots of stuffed animals in her room. Halloween is one of her favorite holidays, and she loves reading all kinds of books. If you guessed, Miss Bufton, you're right. Hi, Bagby Barracudas. My name is Mrs. Bufton, and I am the Bagby Librarian. Horton and I are missing seeing you in the library. Hi Barracudas, welcome to Craft Corner. Today for our craft, you are going to need a black piece of paper and an orange piece of paper. And then optional are brown or green and yellow. We are going to be making tear our pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. If you're making the jack-o'-lantern, you're gonna want brown for the stem and yellow for the glowing face. And if you're just gonna make a pumpkin, then you're gonna need green for the vine because it's not brown yet. All right, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to take your black piece of paper and you want to use a white colored pencil, a white crayon, or you could use a regular pencil too. It just really shows up better with the white. And you want to draw your shape. Okay, this just helps us, and I like it to be nice and big. You want it to take up the whole page, just because it's kind of more fun that way, right? And then I'm gonna leave my vines. I'm not gonna draw my vines. I'm going to just kind of add those as I go. I want it to be kind of natural looking. So I'm just gonna add some green twirly vines up here at the end. So the secret to doing tear art is you don't wanna tear it into big chunks. You want to tear it into little chunks, even this one. Now, I, this has a nice curve to it, so I might wanna see, does that fit on the edge? I could try it around there, all right? Then you're gonna take your glue stick and putting it on the orange will be kind of messy. So you wanna put your glue, and this is my trick. I usually do a whole big section and then I take my paper and I kind of, I'm gonna tear that piece off because it doesn't quite fit. I'm just gonna push it down because you really want for your tear art to stay really solid in there. So then I'm gonna take all my pieces, and I need to add some glue where the pieces overlap, because it's okay to overlap your orange pieces so that none of it shows black behind. Now, if you're doing a jack-o'-lantern, you're gonna want to add your face before you add the orange, so you know where to not put the orange. For example, if I was going to do a jack-o'-lantern face like this, do silly tooth on the bottom, it's just silly sideways smile. Then I would take my orange and I would go around my eyes. All right, this one, put that right there. So do you see how you would leave the eyes black and then you can put your yellow in there at the end. So just make sure you're using a lot of glue and see how my glue's kind of dried up here? That's fine, I can add more. I'm just gonna tear some more pieces off. 
See, we don't want to use these big pieces. You want to tear them into tinier pieces. They can, it's okay if they're kind of big, but you don't want them to be too big because you really want it to have some texture to it. You're just gonna push those down and you might get a little sticky and that's okay because it's art, guys. Craft day means you get to have a little fun. So you're just gonna fill in, oh, see there's not enough glue there. We don't want any pieces sticking up. I'm gonna put some more glue and the nice thing is my glue goes on purple, but it dries clear. So even if I can see purple here, it's not gonna stay there the whole time. So you're gonna fill in your whole jack-o'-lantern. Here's an example of a finished one. Now this friend did not have yellow paper, so they solved the problem by coloring with yellow crayon. But if you had yellow paper and you added a little stem, then you could put your glue in that spot. You could take your paper, and you could tear off some tiny pieces and you could fill in the eyes with the tiny tear art pieces. So then it would look, oopsies, nice and bright and shiny in there. And I could even do another one here if I wanted. So tear art is all about going slow and kind of doing your best to just make it look like a real pumpkin, right? Whoa, that looks much brighter and so fun. If you wanted to make one with a vine, then what you would do is you would take, once you're done filling in all the orange here, so you would just pretend that you have no face and you would fill all of this in with your orange. So once your whole pumpkin is filled in, you could take your green and you can tear off some, this is fun to do some nice longer pieces for the vine. So you could tear off a little bit of a longer piece. And you could make your vine kind of organic or natural looking. So I would put it right there. Now kind of just, Keep pulling those pieces off so that they kind of look like here's a little piece. And you know how vines have pieces coming off of each other. I could add a little piece there. And look, mine's, sorry, kind of going off the page there. And that's kind of fine with me because it kind of makes it the pumpkin look like realistic. It's going off the page just a smidge, not a lot. I don't want this to take over all my artwork. So I'm going to do another little piece here and you really want to smash it down. You don't want any pieces sticking up because tear art can, the, the little pieces of construction paper can fall off if you don't keep them on very well. So here's, I'm just going to make that vine a little thicker and then maybe I'll do a loop-de-loop -loop over here on this side. You just want to have fun with it. So if you're doing a regular pumpkin on the vine, then maybe you, um, then maybe you're gonna use, you're just gonna fill it in like a regular pumpkin and you're going to make kind of loop-de-loops with your vines, you're just gonna have fun with it. And if you would like to do a jack-o'-lantern, then you're going to make sure you fill in that yellow face, just like this guy, and you're gonna have a brown stem because we want this to look realistic like a pumpkin that actually got picked off the vine. Some of my friends last year made their vines go all the way to the edge of the page to make it look like it was falling off the page and kind of spilling off the page. So you can have fun with how your vines look. You can make it a trail all the way down to the bottom of your pumpkin. It is up to you. You can do either of these, but have fun, do your best, and then hang it up in your room so that you can have a little jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin in your room for some fun October decorations. Can't wait to see your work. Good luck, Barracudas. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce have some candy, please. Oh. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And remember, Barracudas, Choose kind.